people, uh, church members, are still inside the church right now being interviewed by authorities. They were the ones inside the church when the shooting happened. A total of four people were injured. One of those is the gunman. One of the victims, the senior pastor of the church, did die from his injuries. That's senior pastor Fred Winters. Two other church members were taken to the hospital for treatment as well as the gunman. So here's what happened. Early this morning when church service was already going on, the gunman walked into the church headed straight towards the pulpit. That's when senior pastor Fred Winters stepped down from the pulpit and spoke to the gunman and asked him if he could help him. And that words were exchanged, but the police say they weren't threatening words. Uh, that's when the gunman shot the senior pastor once, and then the gun jammed, and that's when the gunman then uh, pulled out a knife and started injuring himself. Two other church members, though, immediately tackled the gunman. The gunman also stabbed the two church members. Hmm. Now, again, people are still inside being interviewed by authorities. They're slowly being released one at a time. I did speak with one church member who was actually in the church foyer at the time when the shooting happened, and here's what she said. I ran in to see if I could help, and I seen all this paper stuff up on the pulpit, and later I found out they said the bullet hit the pastor's Bible, and it just was like confetti, it just went everywhere. People were, they were down on their knees and on the floor screaming and praying, and it was, it was, it was a terrible thing. Again, senior pastor Fred Winters died from his injuries. Right now, nobody knows who the gunman is. Police have not identified or released the identity of the gunman. So right now, nobody knows the relationship hmm. between the gunman and the church and the gunman and the so pastor. So he was not a familiar face in that church whatsoever. Co correct. One of the pastors came out and talked to us, and he said he saw the gunman but did not recognize the gunman. And uh, they don't know if the gunman, police right now don't know if the gunman acted alone or no. Because uh, this looks like a very, this looks like a very large church with, uh, you know, maybe hundreds of parishioners. Correct. Uh, um, hundreds, of, about 150 people were inside at the time. This was the first church service that was going on, mm -hmm. and there was a second service that was about to happen. That's when people started coming, and mm -hmm. then that's when the shooting happened. Sorry.